Hey everybody, I'm doing a quick uh, demo of the Insta360 link being fed into a YOLO box. And I'm on very limited time because I borrowed the YOLO box from work. My boss knows about it, of course. I would never take it without permission. But um, anyway, uh, I don't have a lot of time. I don't want to abuse that privilege of being able to borrow equipment, so I'm kind of just throwing this get, uh, video together really quickly. I'm basically assuming that you know what a YOLO box is and what an Insta360 link is, but for a quick recap, the YOLO box is a streaming device that can take up to three HDMI video sources and one USB source and a couple of, of uh, 3.5 millimeter audio sources. So I'm recording this with the Insta360 webcam fed into the USB-C port, and I like to have a webcam always fed into the YOLO box because it's always been my backup camera. My main camera that I use for this when I go out and do live streams in the field is uh, using a Canon G60, which looks great, but you know I always want to have two cams no matter what ready to go just in case one camera fails, depending on how important the uh, video stream is. But anyway, the Insta360 is the most advanced webcam I've ever seen and that's what I've got running into this now. It gives a great 4K picture. And in addition, it's got a gimbal built in, so and uh, motion controls and uh, tracking controls and things like that. So if I show my palm, if I show my palm over here, it should lock onto my face. And if I move back and forth, um, it's going to follow me. But I've already done a video on the Insta360 link, and you can check that out if you want. I just wanted to get into uh, overcoming one of the biggest limitations with this great camera, and that is that it's always tied to your desk. Uh, being a USB webcam, you really can't take it out in the field much and do much with it, but I'm out and about today, out at a park, recording this, again, like I mentioned, with the YOLO Box Live Pro. So um, I'm going to uh, take this thing, walk around a little bit, and show you some video. It's a little bit of a, it's a partially cloudy day. So a couple of limitations with this camera, you're gonna to have to control everything solely with gesture commands, and you can't turn the gesture commands off like you can with the InstaLink controller software. Also, everything is in automatic mode. I was out in some really bright sunlight earlier, and I think what had happened was the camera had pulled itself down all the way in ISO, and to compensate for that super bright sunlight, is it had uh, upped the shutter speed. So we're going to walk around in some daylight and, and just capture some video and you can get an idea of what different things look like from there. But again, like I said, this is a quick demo of the uh, Insta360 Link camera into the YOLO Box Live Pro. Um, and this is what you can expect. I don't know anybody who may want to use this setup. I personally like to have a backup webcam with my setup because um, I use a Canon G60 for this set up normally, but having a backup is always uh, a must, I think, in a live stream, because if your main camera dies, something goes wrong with it, being able to switch to a backup and being able to switch to a backup that actually looks good is a, it could be a lifesaver. So I think I've said enough. You get the idea. You guys are smart. I'm going to walk around, collect some video. We're going to see what this looks like.
So again, I'm sorry this video was so impromptu. I went into this without any real plan. If you're not interested in using either of these pieces of equipment, I at least hope you found this video interesting. Um, if you are interested in combining these pieces of equipment, I would be really interested to hear what kind of plans you have for doing so. So like I said, this is going to be my backup to my main camera just in case it fails and it could be a nice setup for a wide shot that I can go to if I ever need to. Who knows? But um, I like to have a backup at the very least and this video looks pretty good to me. I mean, you know, it's blue. It's in all... It, in here I can see already it's a little bit off white. It's more, it's got a bit of a blue tint to it. Um, and like I said, everything that you do with this camera in this setup with the YOLO box is going to be um, done through automatic settings. You, you have no way to adjust the camera otherwise. But I think, um, you know, some video that's a little bit off white is definitely better than no video at all and uh, I really do like everything that I can do with this camera. So if you got any ideas on what you would do with it, post those in the comments below. I'd love to hear what kind of ideas you guys have. Let's be creative together. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.